Hello everyone, this is Voltage Development and oh my goodness me, it feels so weird to even say that introduction. I haven't said that introduction for a while now, but welcome back to a tutorial and here we are on Click Team Fusion 2.5 now. A lot of you may be super excited for this tutorial, but I can't promise you that I will keep on doing Click Team Fusion tutorials. All I can promise you is tutorials are coming back. That's the only thing I can promise you guys. And also, I can promise you that Unity tutorials are coming back. Not so much Unreal Engine, maybe. I'll look into that. But for now, let's just keep our focus on Click Team Fusion. Although before we actually get into Click Team Fusion, I just wanted to make you aware that I can't promise you daily uploads either. I can promise you uploads, of course, especially tutorials, but not daily ones. I can't do this every single day, so please do not expect videos every single day, okay? Now let's get into the video. So you can probably see in the title that we're going to do something about saving right you know to do with like any files so i know that a lot of you may have known about the any file which is the file in which allows you to save your game on click team fusion multimedia fusion whatever and i have done a any saving tutorial years ago but I have found a different way of doing it. It technically does the same thing, but just a different way. So, let's uh, bring an any object into this uh, brand new application. What we're going to do is, we're actually going to go to the application, and we're going to make... Uh, yeah, we're going to make these, maybe one more. And then, in frame 2, we're going to have an active object. And we're going to have this, say, frame 2. So, we're going to... Actually, no, 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 not an active object, duh. Um, where is it? Uh, string. And inside of the string, we're going to have... If I can actually spell correctly. <laughs> frame 2. And now, with frame 3, you guessed it, we're going to do the exact same thing, but call it frame three and yes again with frame four we're gonna have a text saying frame four so now that we have all of that done inside of frame one we're gonna have <laughs> yeah you know what i'm gonna type in so there we have it we have frame one two three and four now to make sure that this any object actually works properly we need to technically have the any object in every single frame so now that we have um, our any object in every single frame, what we're going to do is inside of... Oh, wait, can we just like... No, I think we can only like select one at a time, yeah. So inside of this any object on frame one that we currently have selected, in the settings, we have this thing called any file to use and the name. Now, don't worry about these at the moment, but inside of the name, let's just call it this, um, let's call this test tut, uh, uh, something. <laughs> yeah, test tut something. Now, we have dot any, which means it's using the any object inside of the file format. So now, uh, UTF-8 is just a format text thing and create any in application data folder. Now, what this means is um, if I actually do Windows R and here we have app data. Well, we can actually just type in so percent app data <coughs> percent and what it will do, it will open up this <coughs> And if we scroll down, if you've got a lot of folders, then you do have to scroll down. If you don't, then you don't have to scroll down. But 
Find the folder MMF Applications. If you don't know what MMF means, it's Multimedia Fusion Applications. So all of the saved games that use Multimedia Fusion are inside of here. So we have these in here. Now, this in the object that will save our data will save this test to something .ini to here. Now, Let's see if this actually works. So, let's go into frame one <clears throat> and let's go to a new condition, start of frame. Let's do a set value of an item. And the item is just going to be called level and the value is going to be called one because we're on frame one. So now if we run the application, the application is now running, so now if we exit the application, now go over to our folder, we have test to something. And inside of here, we have level 1. It's basically a easier way of doing the any objects, because a lot of people do this, I think, still, or maybe they used to do it and they found out this way, but because I learnt years ago, that if you do set current file to uh, that it will save that file here but it will look like these files with the file type file but because we have set up our any object right here with a name that we have given the any object it will store our data inside of its own any object like there pacman oh yeah you weren't supposed to see that but that is how you do an any object technically properly and easier to understand because i understand that if you were to do the set current file you would have to do it every single time you're saving your games so here's what's going to happen um if we go into frame two and we've got our any object. And if we use the test tut something, because we are using the exact same test tut something, let's go over to um, start of frame and then set value item to uh, level two. So now we have set our item level to the value of two. And because our any object in our frame 2 is the same as the in the, as the in the object in frame 1 right here so now if we uh, go to frame 2 and if we r run the frame not the application because we have no way to actually go into the next frame from frame 1 so if we go to f run frame here here we are running a frame now, if we go back to our any, level two. So now, now ladies and gentlemen, here is where it gets a little interesting. So let's go to frame three. Now with this any object, we're not gonna type in tut or test tut something. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do test tut um, one. A different any object now with this one we're gonna do, we're gonna do the exact same thing although not really the exact same thing but in our start of frame under the the any object we're gonna do set value item and instead of level we're gonna put uh, something and then we're gonna put uh, one two three why the hell not so now, uh, because we have ran our previous frames and they have both given us a level 2 in our test to something any file, let's run our frame 3. We've got our frame 3. Now, let's go into our folder and look, test to 1.ini and something123. So what I've just shown you is that it's so much easier to just bring in 
a brand new any object because for example if we were to like stay on this frame and let's bring in another any object and let's call this one uh something one two three four five there we go and we've got we've made it as an any file so now uh any any two yeah you know what let's just keep it like that now on our start of frame um Actually, not an hour start of frame. If we do the keyboard, upon pressing space, let's go ahead and set the just set the value to uh, one hundred. And because we have two in the objects in our one frame, but both in the objects are separate from each other using separate files to store data. Let's go ahead and run the frame. Yep, running in the frame. Let's go into the folder. Nothing has happened. But if we go back into the frame and press space, now exit the frame. And here we have something one, two, three, four, five. And inside of here, 100. So I hope this has all helped you out with your saving your data so much easier than just doing the whole stupid uh, set current file to blah, 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 blah. because that way one is convoluted and complicated and just confusing to even remember but this way it's so much easier to make your games and save your data and all of that stuff like you, you can do so much with this way so thank you so much for watching everyone I hope this all helped you out and I'll see you all soon goodbye everyone